afternoon guys, I'm out in the woods doing a couple of videos but I just want to show you my new uh, bush, sorry, my new Pathfinder bush pot and I've also got the zebra with me so I'll, I'll do the two as a comparison. So there is the zebra 14 centimetre. The weight of this is a uh, 730 grams, right? But I think we all know that you get the with the zebra, you get like a a ball inside, right? So without the ball and the lid, it's like 600. And it's, I can't remember exactly, but it's around about 600 grams. So. I got myself the David Canterbury Pathfinder one. I wanted this when he first brought it out, See when he first released it, uh, about three years ago. But he'd brought it out and it had some kind of stand type thing with it. And it was like $50. So when we get things in Britain, the dollars convert to pounds. I know it shouldn't, but whatever's $50 in America cost £50 in Britain. Then he's released this one, I think it's like, I don't know, I think it's like $15 or something in America. I don't know, I'd be lying if I said I knew. But maybe it's $25, so I paid £23 for me. And for a zebra, you're talking £20. I think I got mines for 15 a few years ago, but now to the 20. So let me show you what's inside. So I'll show you what I like about the Pathfinder, and I've not even used it yet. Right? This is the Generation 2. So what Dave has done is he's made the handles bigger to grip the actual pot, the actual bale locks. Look. It's quite st stiff, it locks at the front, it locks at the back, if you want to hang it in different positions over your fire. And what else he's done is the lid, look, stays on. And it's got the spore pit, pour, pour spout, I like that, on it. The handles are pretty stiff. That is the one thing that I didn't really like about the zebra. That you can't really pour from it. Yeah, let me show you. So, the zebra, I actually added the clips to mine so that uh, it locks. But when you're pouring it, you need to use like a stick, don't you? To pour. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being pernickety. That is a good pot, the zebra. Let's have a look at the two of them. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, this one weighs uh, 450 grams. So. That'll be my thumbnail for the video. So, yeah, I do like it. Very good. I, I like this one. This one's good if you're just going to be like cooking, not for water type thing. I know I've got a little kettle. I've got myself a Snow Peak kettle, a litre. This says it's a 1.8, but uh, I've had two litres of water in this. I've used it in the house, not outside yet. So we'll get it on the fire. I've got a little fire going at the back here. There, if we can see, you see that? So I'll get the water on. We'll test them out.
So I'm sorry guys, I went and forgot to bring my stand. So I'm trying to rig together some kind of a tripod. My tripod is snapped a few months ago. So I'm trying to uh, put another one together. So when I put it together, I'll, we can stick the pots on. There we go, I've got myself a tripod and I've got my wood dangling down so I'll stick the pot on we'll see how it works. So there we go, it's just a basic uh, tripod that I've made and I've just uh, used a piece of paracord that I had in my bag and I've put a piece of top line hitch at the bottom if we can see, right. tighten it to the piece of wood So, and I've just kind of tied it up here Normally I use chains when I, I do this, but you can use paracord as well. So, there's the, the bush pot. So I've not really used it. This is the first time using it, so... Compared to the... Zebra. Yeah, I do like it. I like, what I like is the big handles. You can grip them. I've got quite big hands, so... Good nice pot, and I do like the way it locks. I know this one, you can hang it. I don't know, I love my pots. You know me. If you've been watching my channel for a while. I'm a pot lover. So there we go, it's just a quick little video. To let you see the Dave Canterbury bush pot 1.8 litres. So I'm out in the woods all day today. <laughs> I've got myself a little cooking video I'm done. Yeah, cast iron cooking video. So check it out. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like the pot. I, I like it. I'll be using it more, I'll be doing more cooking, <laughs> more cooking in it. I just seen a deer there and I was getting a bit distracted. Yeah, so yeah, I'll do more cooking in the pot coming soon. So thank you. <laughs> Thanks guys. There we go guys, the water is boiled in the pot. So, take the water off. Pull it with the handle, like so. Ooh, it's hot, even with my gloves on. So, there we go. Water's that hot, it's actually burning through the gloves. So, we'll get the second pot on the go. Hangs the same way as the other one, doesn't it? So.
give you a look. These are supposed to be leather gloves. Look, they're actually burnt them. <laughs> so, as I says, what I like about the pot is the actual uh, bale doesn't move. And I like the fact that it's got this. See the, the handle? So that you can pour the water. That is the, the main factor why I bought this. So that you can pour it. So, there we go. So that's the... That is the... Dave Canterbury bush pot. So, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.